Hey, what is up, guys? It's the Super Saiyan 4 Gamer here, back with more Let's Play Fight Night Champion. Um, last time, we pretty much got our ass kicked twice by Ricardo Alvarez, but we eventually managed to beat him, and then we get our asses sent to prison for our trouble. And now we are in our fourth prison fight. Our fourth and final prison fight of the game before we can get out of prison and hopefully return to the professional boxing circuit. Let's get started. See if we can get revenge on these thugs for kicking our asses earlier on in the game. Okay, but anyway, um, when I went to do record this fight earlier, your brother got me a job as an the st trainer. my stamina was incredibly low, so I could not beat this that guy. Ball, man. And I Come tried back. like five times, boy. so I had to restart. Very lucky for an ex-con to have a job. That's what I like to see. The champion a brother up to this taking point. care of his Again. brother. Andre, welcome back. Hey, Mr. McQueen. Raymond. Andre, you remember Mr. Franco. The smug asshole. Mr. Franco has retired from the force. Works for me now. Must be a big change for you. Hope you learned to stay out of trouble. Now he's learned his lesson. Andre. I'm sorry the way things worked out for you. But I've been taking good care of Raymond while you're away. We can't afford distractions. I hope we can count on you. Help the brother. It was good just to be back in the gym. It was good to see baby brother doing his thing. And it was good to be back in the gym. Put your weight on your lead foot. Turn your hips more. It'll increase your power. There you go. Thanks for the advice. She's got a reputation. I can't have people looking in here seeing you slap boxing. <laughs> Jokes, huh? Nice. I was starting to think you didn't like me. Yeah, well, being on the outside takes some getting used to. I guess I'm still adjusting. I like you just fine, Megan. Always have. Andre wants some of that, and to be honest, who could blame him? I never liked Mason Brooks. What the fuck was that, Brooks? Supposed to be sparring. Oh, fuck you, has been. This shit wasn't low. Fuck you know about it anyway. You ain't even a fighter no more. Why don't you go clean some toilets or something? Yeah, that's right, bitch. Go clean them toilets. <laughs> yeah, I left something in there for you, too. Yo, Brooks, chill out. Oh, what? You want to do something about it? Get out of the ring right now. 
Dre. Mm-hmm. So she ran and out of the ring. This guy wants to be a prick, and he's gonna get a taste of my fist, bitch. And want to knock me down immediately. That'd be hilarious. Sometimes this fight can take me forever. Like, not, not because I keep getting my ass kicked, just because this guy doesn't want to go down. punch right away it just counts but it's like it seems like it only counts when they want it to count and that it sucks but I still love this game though so see right there I should have been extra damaged dramatic flashing knockdowns. What the hell? Oh, better than you know, we the that. Okay, that was a counter punch and I don't see how. them toilets, bitch. It's your job. It's your beneath me. I heard you beat up one of my heavyweights. Oh, she looks pissed. Look, I'm sorry. All right, we, we were we were sparring. I didn't want to... Mason Brooks is an asshole. You needed that beat down. Well, I told you to do that 
In that case, I'm happy to help Mason become a better person. Mason's a ranked heavyweight. You whipped a ranked heavyweight. You're still in great shape, Andre. I can get you work as a sparring partner. Are you serious? Antoine Barr's camp starts in two weeks. Hmm. I love when you touch me like that. What the hell is wrong with me? Can't hit this guy in the head. I mean, we can hit him in the head. You just want to make sure you don't knock his ass out with a headshot. Expect when you get hit in the head for a living. You know, unless you're like freaking super powered and it doesn't affect you. Pretty sure the guy pretty much has internal injuries right now, so why isn't he dropping? suck in too much air for a while after I get done with his ass. Yeah! Second knockdown, that was quick. That's it. Fall down. Fall down to the mat like the dog that you are. Good boy. You want to see me? Have a seat. You sparred with two heavyweights, and you whipped both their asses. I know I did. Um, you could make a comeback. And how am I going to do that? With my help. I still want to be your manager, Andre. How does your father feel about that? I no longer work for DL. We have philosophical differences. But I can get you a license, and I can get you a fight. If you want to fight. Of course you want to fight. Oh my god, he's back! Come on, Gus! 
I'm coming out of retirement too, kid. Told you I'd change his mind. <laughs> Say oh, how Boston makes you go. But it ain't professional. You know that, too. You're a heavyweight now. Heavyweight is a different world than middleweight. I don't want you to embarrass yourself. So look, we're going to start with a couple of low Wow, points. Gus, really? You have that much confidence in me? They will be coming to fight. Alright. After this fight, I think I'm going to stop. Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Kenny Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Mexico City Live. I'm back. Nice and smooth. He got hit right there, but he also gave 
sorry about that. That was my phone that went off. Big pay per view this past weekend. Isaac Frost defending his heavyweight title again, stopping Reggie Stewart in two rounds for his 14th successful title defense. Promoter D.L. McQueen has begun touting Frost as one of, if not the greatest champions of all time. That seems a bit premature, but there's no arguing with Frost's record. Undefeated, all his wins coming by knockout. Quite a feat. In other news, can former middleweight contender Andre Bishop make a comeback after spending more than five years in prison? And can he do it? as a heavyweight. It's one of the more fascinating stories in sports. We'll of course have the latest for you here on Friday Night Fight. Good evening everybody, I'm Joe Tessitore and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza. I'm alongside Teddy Atlas here ringside for heavyweight action tonight. The American Andre Bishop taking on the veteran Mexican Raul. Here we go with uh, Raul Castillo. I hate this guy because when he clinches you, he's a freaking vampire. He, he, drains, he drains the crap out of your stamina. And it's like, no, clinching shouldn't do that. I mean, is this, is this Dragon Ball Z? Is he Android 19 in disguise? Sucking my my energy dry. If you're the inside fighter, what do you have to think about in terms of putting forth your style of fighting? Well, you better find a good vibe to get to that house. That house is on the inside, and you better make sure you're not getting caught while you're coming in. Move your head on the way in. Bring your feet. And once you get inside, make sure you do what you got there to do. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Raul Castillo is putting money in the bank. Andre Bishop is eating these body shots. That will slow him down later. Here we go, round two is underway. Good clean shot, returning fire, well 
it, so he might figure it out. Big success. People are talking about Andre Bishop again. Welcome back. It feels good to be back. Thanks, Megan, for everything. I know Franco and my father set you up. I can't prove it, but I know it. You wouldn't do something like that. I know what kind of man you are. I know what kind of man my father is. You know, it doesn't even matter anymore. I did the time. It matters to me, Andre. Super Saiyan 4 Gamer with uh, Let's Play Fight Night Champion. I'm going to stop here and I will be back with the next part of Let's Play Fight Night Champion. Peace out.